this is my first semester. I came into BCIS through an um, introduction paper, the technology one. Yeah, certificate paper, sorry. <laughs> um, for CTIS, um, I am doing a degree in music through Berkeley Music of College, which is really cool. So it's MOOCs, which is where you learn online. So we're comparing that to how it is actually studying in a normal lecture hall. Hello everyone, um, my name is Aljon and I'm, I'm pretty much in the same situation as Alex. I did a certificate in technology um, last year and now I'm in my first year of um, BTIS. And the courses that I'm doing this semester is Programming 1, Foundations of IT, Applied Communications, which is like um, writing essays and stuff, which is really useful in uni life, and CTIS. And in CTIS, as Alex said, we're doing a research about um, the experience between online learning and real life learning. And so far it's been fun, learning like different um, programming languages such as Python and web callers and the internet, which is the Google search engine. And yeah, my overall experience so far in uni has been great. It's really friendly around here and it's fun. Hi guys, um, my name is Siobhan, um, I'm in my first year as well, I didn't do the certificate, um, it's my first time doing any kind of tertiary education, so it's a little bit new, I actually moved up from Christchurch as well, so it's like a lot of new challenges, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm doing a slightly different first semester from these guys as well, I'm actually doing my networking paper in the first semester, which isn't typical, but you can kind of do any of the eight in whatever order, apart from programming one and two obviously, which have to follow through. Um, and yeah, so we did the... Uh, for CTIS, we're doing um, a study on MOOCs, so yeah, that's online courses. And um, pretty much for CTIS, like, we all have um, different group projects, and you can kind of present them in any way you want. We're typically doing a poster, and because of the nature of our one, which is kind of quite individual, we decided to do a short video talking about our experiences before, during, and after the courses. So we'll show you that now. websites like that, but I don't know that you could legitimately enroll in an online university. And I'm about to start my MOOCs course in Udacity called Introduction to Computer Science, and my expectations, my only expectations is that this course should be fun, easy, and interesting. I'm enrolled into an introduction for improvisation, which is like a music course, which should be interesting since I play an instrument that I'm going to be doing is called Introduction to Computer Science. I have no idea what it's going to be like or what's it about, but I'm guessing it's probably about how computers work. I'm doing a course on computer science through Udacity. Um, I sort of expect it to be very different to our lecture ones because it's going to be more hands-on, I hope. I am doing Introduction to Improvisation, which is headed by Berkeley College of Music. I'm really looking forward to this, as I've already done one degree in music on piano. The course that I'm taking is through Coursera, and it's Science, Technology and Society in China, Part 1 Basic Concepts. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I haven't done any science related topics since high school, so I think I'm going to learn a lot. But the aim is really to see, what I want to find out is uh, how, how online courses compare to university courses. Well, I assume the lectures are going to be informative, but um, I'm just not sure how, how well I'm going to be able to concentrate without kind of being in sort of a learning environment. I feel like just opening up my laptop and starting 
to learn, I'm not actually going to be able to get as into it, maybe. But I'll find out. About halfway through the course, um, so far, it's been pretty good. Um, it's quizzes. I felt like I've learned a lot faster, but I'm not sure if that's just because I've done programming before or not. Oh, it's been fun. Um, learning about Python and web crawlers and the internet. My fears about not being able to sort of hear the teacher properly or understand the notes has been completely put aside. The notes are crystal clear on the screen, and as he is talking, the notes come up on the screen as well. There's a few things that I like, I really like, compared to um, actual uni courses. Uh, one of which is kind of the flexibility of hours that you have. Being able to, you know, just miss a few days or something. Like, I've, I've got a whole week to just watch a few videos and then just get them working. When you download the videos from the online website, uh, they're in a format that isn't supported by my iPhone, so I can't watch them on the bus or wherever I am. And I'm finding it really frustrating because, for me, one of the main things that was like really appealing about doing these online courses was the flexibility. I'm not sure if it gives me the broad enough skills for everything, like the lecture does, but it is very refined and what it is to me. I finally finished my course and it mainly was about how to write a program using Python language, which is pretty similar to Java language, so I didn't really dump that much, well, not as much as I expected to, but it still was a fun experience. I found the lecture very clear and concise, and I loved the fact that if I got distracted for just like one second, I could hit the rewind button and go back as many times as I wanted until I fully understood. That was so, so helpful. The course was very good at updating with information, when new videos would come out, when due dates were, and if you had any problems, you could just email the teacher and he would email you back with, um, within a couple of days. They're definitely good for busy people or people with not enough time to you know, enroll in an actual course. And you definitely learn something out of them. The courses, are, um, the videos are short, but they're informative and they, um, they really get to the point and the homework assignments are really good and the lecturers are really good at marking them and keeping you up to date with your progress and how you're doing in the course. So the biggest problem I've been having is making sure that I do the courses because I don't have that time commitment like I do at university with my lectures and the money that I pay. The layout of the course that I've done was very clear. It um, let me learn about a lot of things, about the Python language and the web crawlers that we use today, the Google search bar. And I would recommend this course for anyone who likes programming. They're good for anyone who just wants to learn like a new skill or something. I would say that I'm 99% sure that I'll be doing another one at some point. Just um, not while the exams are on for real life.